Welcome back to Program Logic and Design. In this section, we're going to be discussing the priming input to structure a program. What is priming input? We also call it priming read. It reads the first input data record. Where is it placed? It's outside the loop that reads the rest of the records. So outside the loop, we have the first input data, and then we have another input data within the loop to read the rest of the records that are coming from the file or from the user which is inputting it, whatever the input is. This helps the program be structured. Now, we're going to analyze flowchart for structure one step at a time. Watch for unstructured loops that do not follow this order. First, ask a question, take action based on the answer, and return to ask the question again. So if you have a look at this figure, figure 3.12, you will see that this is not structured because I've told you countless times that it's got to be start, stop underneath each other. So you can already see that this is not structured. You've got to stack, stack your structures. So we start is always the top, stop is at the bottom, and you've got to stack your structures in between those two. So you can already see that this is not structured. So what are we going to do? We're going to have to input our original number. We've got to input our original number from our file no matter where. So how are we going to do that? There is a couple of ways. We can input our data before we get to our decision. Now remember now we're stacking. We got our input original number. We stack that. We're stacking our decision. No, where's that going? No, 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 we can't go there. We've got to stop. So that no over there needs to be replaced with yes, and that needs to be replaced with no. So no, we go and stop the program. Yes, we go into our loop. So we're inputting our original number. Great, we're inputting it. We go into our decision. Are we into the file? Yes, no. So we carry on and we start calculating our answer and we output our calculated answer. And then we go and we go back into the loop. Oh no, what's happening? We are not getting the next original number because the flow line is going between the first input of our original number and our decision. So what's happening is that we're only basically calculating the answer for one original number and then we're going to be exiting the program because we'll be reaching the end of the file even though there is more to our file. Another way we can do is we can take our flow line. Instead of having it between the two, we can now put it to the top. But this is also still not structured. Why? Because you're inputting the original number going to our decision, yes, we calculate the answer, you output the calculated answer, and you're going to input the original number. And we carry on and on and on. Why isn't this structured? Don't forget that each structure needs to be stacked. So here we're not stacking really, because this structure, this is first, and then this structure is next. So this has to go before there to make this one single structure. So we've got another problem. So it, it's functional, it does work, but it's not structured. Okay, let's now stack it a bit better. So we're going to have our stack, stack, and within here we'll have another stacking of our sequence, nested, nest the sequence within this loop. Input the original number, calculate the answer, calc output the calculated answer. So we got the original number, we calculate the answer, up the answer, and we go through to there. So what's happening here is that our end of file value will be calculated and outputted, even though it shouldn't be, because it's the end of file value. So how we solve this is we create a priming input before our loop begins. And we have a, another input for our subsequent inputs. So we go, we get the original number, the first one, the priming input. That allows us to enter the loop nicely. So we're stacking, so we're structuring. So we've stack, stack, stack. We go not end of file, yes, calculate the answer, input the next one. And we loop. We've got now something to work with for our decision. And then we go again and again until we reach the end of file is stored now in the original number. And are we end of file? Yes, we are end of file. We stop the program.
So therefore, this flowchart is functional and it is structured flowchart for the number doubling program. Please join me in the next video and shall be discussing the reasons for structure.